Hello and welcome to a Step in the Box instructional video. The purpose of this video is to just go over an example of one of the 3D uh, modeling projects being the name badge. So first thing we need to do in Tinkercad is uh, create new design and we'll be doing this uh, reasonably uh, quickly. So we are going to use um, proper dimensions here. So the first thing we are going to need is a ruler and now we just need to think about the shapes. The task sheet says that we need a base shape which is a rectangular prism uh, which needs to be um, so I'm just panning and zooming around there. I'm going to click on these dimensions here and they are 70 in the X and 40 in the Y and then in the Z the task sheet said 3 millimeters. So that's my base rectangle which is 70 in the X, 40 in the Y and 3 millimeters high um, which is the Z axis. Um, now over here I could put the bottom left hand corner at um, the origin 0, 0 if I like so I could click on um, these ones that are shaded in green so that's the distance um, in that plane to the beginning of uh, the job so if I put 0, 0 so now what you'll see is I've got my bottom left hand corner of my job in um, the origin which is 0, 0, 0 Okay, great. So pan out from there. Alrighty, so that's my uh, base block. So um, now what I'm going to do, the task sheet set is my choice of um, end shapes. So that's fine. I'm going to keep it simple. Um, I'm going to put a, um, a round roof, which is a half um, a cylinder. Now with the turning there, you just need to move until you can see the guidelines come up and I want to rotate it in that axis 90 and then I want to rotate it in that axis 90 and um, I will need to make it three millimeters high instead of 20 so I'll make it three great so I need to make this um, half semicircle fit the end of this so I know that the distance in the Y plane here is 40 so I can make the distance of um, this half semicircle which is going to go on the end I need to make that 40 you see in the same plane great and I've already made it three millimeters high but what I need to do now is I need to put that half semicircle um, on the on the ground plane so I need to make the bottom of the job at, at uh, z equals zero so what I need to do is um, go in and find where my z zero um, height is Sometimes that can be a, a little bit tricky to find, but you'll see that it's over here in the negative five. So I'm just going to put zero there. And now this blue semi half semicircle is on the same plane as this. Now you want to avoid dragging and dropping like this. It's very bad practice. You might as well learn how to use Tinkercad um, properly so that you get, you know, do some decent um, proper engineering moves and th use things with the coordinates. So uh, the first, the easiest way to do that is to grab both of those, so just select them and we're going to go up and use the align tool. I click the align tool and I have all of my align buttons here. So this is the Y plane um, and that's all I want to do at the moment is the Y plane. I could put them there like that but see that would align both those edges there. You could do that if you wish and then what I can do is um, move them across and then I'm going to have to click on one of them and move it away that's it like that good excellent now um, if I don't want that 10 there I could make that a little bit less I could make that 5 and then I might have to just I'm using my arrow keys there in actual fact um, um, yeah that might be okay or well, maybe I'll make it eight okay great there we go so move it across excellent so now what I need to do is um, create a cylinder and that's going to be for my hole so I can put my keychain through it um, so I'm going to make that let's say um, four millimeters so I'm going to change that in the Y and then change it in the X to 4. It doesn't really matter what I change it in the Z but it's only 3 millimeters thick so I could make it 
five if we like. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group these two first over here. And so I'm going to use my group tool. There we go, I've done that. And now this um, cylinder hole is going to become my hole for to push my um, key ring through or my chain or whatever it is I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do is highlight both of those two now and I'm going to use my align tool again. And I want them to be aligned in the Y plane, okay, which is this one right here, okay. And it looks like they already are aligned in the Y plane. Great, so I'm going to click away from that and then I'm going to click on this and I could move that by hand. So I could count and do it by eye um, or what I could do is I could select this shape and then I can s put it exactly on the origin. So I'm going to type in zero there. So now this uh, red base shape is um, the left hand side of it is exactly in the X plane X zero and then that means now I can use the coordinate system. So I can see here that the edge of this semi uh, hole here is exactly five millimeters in. So this distance here is five. Let's say I want it three, which would be the minimum you'd probably want. So now I know it's exactly three. Okay, so it's best not to just have a flying guess and drag it. Um, we really need to be learning how to use it um, with the dimensions because when we work up work our way up to complicated shapes we're really going to need that okay so now i'm going to click and drag both of those and i'm going to group them excellent now i don't like the red i'm going to make it um, um, a yellow color just easier to see it doesn't determine the color in the 3d print of course okay great so that's my base shape with my choice of shapes at the end here and I have decided that um, I'm not going to bother having anything other, any other shape at the other end at the uh, at the moment. Um, so what we want to do now is put my um, initials in it. So the easiest way to do that is with the text tool over here on the right hand side. So I'm going to drag the text across, and then you've got your dialog box up there, bottom uh, top right hand corner. So I'm going to put my initials. Um, or let's say I'm going to put my whole name in there. Let's say Tony. Okay. Now what I need to do is I, I, I you, you could click and drag it like this. Um, but once again, I strongly advise that you don't do that. Um, let's do some maths. So it said in the task sheet that the, um, your name should be uh, centered in the badge and it should have a five millimeter border. Okay, well let's work back from there. So we know in the Y plane we've got 40 millimeters. So if we have a five millimeter top and bottom border, that's going to be 40 minus five minus five, which will be 30. Great, so we know this in the Y plane can be 30. The Tony, or whatever your name is, can be 30. It's currently 26, so I'm going to make it 30. Great, so now in the X plane, well that's a little bit different, but we know the base, it's got the curve on the on the on the left hand side now but originally it was 70 so if we put this in the middle of that 70 that would be 70 minus 5 minus 5 which would be 60 so it's currently 80 so we make it 60 great so what we need to do now is um, we need to center that so we're going to grab all of that and we're going to align it and we're going to align it in the Y plane and then we're going to align it in the X plane. But now because I've grouped this all as one shape over here, it's not actually quite centered. So um, it's an extra eight. So it'll be half of eight. So it'll be four, one, two, three, four. Great. Excellent. Okay. So let's have a bit of a look at that. So that's correct. Um, so the Tony has got a five millimeter border um, either side and it's perfectly centered and that's what the task sheet asked me to do. Great, that's excellent. Now the task sheet said I could either have it embossed or I could have it cut through. So at the moment the the text Tony is embossed. Now it's probably a little bit big. Uh, 10, well we've got 3 for the base and then 10 so that would be protruding 7 so we could make that protruding another 3 would be 3 plus 3 would be 6. So we've got the base is six and then an extra three for that would be, sorry, the base is 
3 pi and then you need to make the text a total of 6 which would give you 3 protrusion. So that's great. So that would be done if you wanted it embossed. What if you wanted it um, cut through? Well, it's easy. You just define um, the text which I select on and then you just tell it to define it to be a hole like that and then you select both of them and group it. And it is now a cut through. Now what you'll see is that the if I do that the middle of the O will fall through. So you could either not worry about that or um, what you could do is put a little um, support um, along the top and the bottom if you liked. Um, so you could get um, a box, you could make that box um, let's say uh, 20. I oh, know, let's make it 3. Okay, and let's make it 3 high. So this is just going to be support and I'm going to put it through the middle of that. No, that's not going to look very good. So I'm going to decide that I'm not going to do that, okay, because I just don't think it's going to look very good. So what I'm going to do is use the ungroup tool up there on the top right hand side and I'm going to click on the Tony and I'm going to make that a solid, okay, just because I have decided that a cut through is not going to look very good. So I'm going to go with embossed and let's see, I am allowed to add something else um, if I wish. So I'm going to grab a star and what I'm going to do is maybe move this down a little bit and move it up a little bit and to put this star on the top of the three millimeter base I would just need to raise it up three so currently it's zero which is this measurement over here on the right hand side so I'd make that three obviously that's too big so if I make it say 10 in the X and 10 in the Y and let's say three in the Z that's more like it um, so I've got a star there and if I wanted to copy that control C V and I might put another one over there and let's see I'm going to put um, I'll just leave it at that that's you get the idea so I'll, I'll, I'll make a, um, a another one control C V and I'll put that over there great so I've got my three stars and that's my name badge um, and that's how we um, how we do it even though the task sheet said we did need to center it um, I've modified it um, to um, put those extra adornments in okay thank you oh from now on what we would need to do is we'd better off go and change the name of it up here so if I would put um, there we go just so I, I know what it is so that's Tony name badge and then if we want to download that for 3d printing I would go export up here and I want the whole model STL and it's downloaded that and if you were going to 3d print that from here then you would open up your slicer in this case it's Kara and you would open up the name badge STL file and there it is there and we would then be able to send that off to the 3D printer. Thank you very much.